All right then, let's get started with the primitive shape. We're gonna make a cube. We're gonna stretch the figure a little bit. So we're gonna make it thinner. Let's make this object editable. And then we're gonna mark the polygons. On the base here, we're going to scale it a little wider. Like that. So on the top, we're going to make it bigger. We have to give the machine a bit of magic, okay? Everybody can kind of model however they want. Now we're going to cut this thing up. We've activated the interface. We'll add in a cut here. We're going to elongate this a little bit like this. Like this, okay. Now we're going to make another cut around here more or less. This is going to be where the base, where we're going to put in the buttons on, okay? And this part is going to be like the screen. So we're going to be able to see like the numbers and all the, you know, the things. So let's rotate it. The top part as well, let's rotate that a little bit. And you can see how little by little we're getting that shape. As you can see, we're just moving and scaling we're, and we're rotating, okay? We've made two cuts. Okay. And the bottom part, I would like to make it a bit wider. And this part here, where we can put the buttons, we're going to make that a bit bigger, okay? And we're going to lower it, maybe rotate it, like that. We're going to make a cut here, and now we're going to go up and make two cuts. So we'll have two gaps, and these gaps we're going to put in the numbers. So extrude inner, we're going to take away the group preservation. And now we have the three spaces. So let's extrude down as well. And that's good for now. Okay. This is better, maybe lower. We're going to extrude this part as well. You know what, we're gonna bevel it maybe better. Like this. We don't have to touch anything else. The subdivision on zero. Okay. Let's select the points down here. And we're gonna scale them so that we can give it more of a smaller base. Just so that it looks a little more, you know, cartoon. Okay, let's cut so that we can make a smaller base. We'll do that here. So this is where the coin thing is going to go. Where, you know, where they come out. So we're going to scale this. Let's see how we can do this part here. We can make like a little bridge here, okay? Okay, we're going to extrude this. All right, and now this part here too, we're going to extrude it too, and it's gonna be the base. Okay. So select, loop selection, and now we can make another extrusion so that we can finish off that base, like this. Okay, so there we have the, the shape almost done. We're going to make a cylinder in the primitive. Let's rotate it, and we can rescale it. And we're going to make this editable, okay? Let's see. How many segments are we going to put in? This is good. We're going to give it this many segments, and now we can make this editable. And we can scale it. Okay, this is going to be the part where we're going to put here like as decoration, okay? 
we can see I, I think I've, I've used too many let's do this with more subdivisions so let's go back we're gonna make this a little more like this okay we can move it to where you want it okay let's scale this and we can put this at about halfway we don't need to eliminate the other part because we can't really see it anyway all right here's good what else um let's make the selection of these faces I was going to extrude this, but this doesn't really look that good. So maybe if we, no, no, it's probably going to be better if we make an interior extrusion and then we can extrude it normally. So we want to be left with like a kind of frame in this way. All right. So this part two. Interior extrusion, okay. Be careful, make sure you have this mark so we can preserve the groups. Okay. And now we're gonna make uh, an extrusion like this. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to go make another cylinder. So let's rotate that. And we're going to make it editable. And here on these cylinders, this is where we're going to put in the numbers and the fruits, you know, that these casino machines have. So the idea is to try and, you know, fit it. Okay, let's see. We could also make one of those modern machines, you know, the ones with the with the digital screens, you know. We wouldn't have to do this that way. But I think this looks better. It looks more classic, maybe. Okay, so you can see here at the back, it kind of comes out. Uh-oh. Okay, so we could make the machine wider in that area. I think it's going to be too small like this. But this could also be a solution. So we like make the gap smaller, but this would be grabbing the points. And I think it would be more work than if we just made the machine bigger, right? I mean, that's what we want. Let's move this a little bit, see how it looks. All right, move this around here, okay. Well, we could make this part wider, to be fair. We would have to do uh, take this, for, what, this one further back anyway, like this. We have to move this point so we can raise this a little bit. So we're going to make the cylinder a bit bigger. We're going to lower it. All right. Okay, so now we've duplicated it, and then later on, we're going to be able to place this correctly. We're going to grab it, we're going to duplicate it, we're going to place it to the side it needs to be at. 
So we're gonna turn a little like this. Okay. So this is more or less what we're looking for. It's a simple object, so there's no need to get deep with it. Okay, so now we have to see how this looks. We're going to make a cube with the primitives. We're going to move it. We've scaled it. And now we're going to place this. This is going to be like a kind of sign. So it's going to be on the machine. We'll see later what we put on this sign. But with a simple cube, we're, we're going to make it, all right? We've, we've pretty much made it already. We just sort of move it like, like this to adapt this to the machine's shape. And we can put this around here. We're going to make this editable and we're going to select the points. Remember that we have to select this box here. It's really important so that we make sure we grab all of those points we can't see. And let's give it a shape that's a bit less of a square. Okay, so now we're going to make that first button. So to do this, we have to grab a primitive. So a square, a cube as always. And we're gonna scale this to make the shape of the button, okay? So we're gonna make this editable, select the polygons, and we're going to put a bevel on this. No subdivisions, just like that. And now we're going to make this a little smaller and we're gonna place it. This is going to be the main button, so it's going to be the biggest button. All right, so around here, we're going to rotate this a little bit to place it properly in its place. And then once we have that, we can duplicate it and use it for the other buttons. All right, so now we're going to move this to the right. There, perfect. like this. Okay, we're going to duplicate this. And while we're at it, we're going to rotate this so that we have another button. All right, we're going to make this one smaller. Around here, we're going to duplicate this and move it. Okay, and another one here. We're going to grab them all and we're going to place them here like this. Okay, so in this area here, on top of the button, we're gonna put in like the coin slot part, okay? So we've created the cube and now we're gonna create the slot. So to this, we're going to be using Boolean functions. We're going to make a cube, this shape is good, as you can see here, and we're gonna place it here. This means that this cube is going to be the gap for the insertion of coins, bro. So we're going to put it here. And now we're going to create the space. We're going to grab the machine and the cube we've made. And we're going to mark this square. And we're going to hit Boolean. We'll put these two into the Boolean. And we're, we're going to put this cube inside the Boolean with this cube we're going to make the coin slot. Okay, and now we have the signs, the button, the decoration. Let's make that interior extrusion I was talking about before around here. And interior, and now we've made a frame. Let's do the same with this part here too. We're gonna give the image a little more depth, a little more detail. I don't know.
I don't really know if I want to do this on the bottom part as well. We might have some problems because of that. Okay, like this. Interior extrusion. Whoops. We've selected the back parts by accident. This is because you have to remember to select this button here so that we're only going to be selecting the visible parts. Remember we changed that earlier, but then the guy forgot to change it back. No, 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 this isn't good. This isn't good. We, we have to go back. So let's do that and we'll sort this out. Let's get rid of these parts here. Let's see if underneath there are any. These two. Okay, now we're ready. And the front. Okay. And now we can make that extrusion. And we're done with the frame, cousin. All right, so now we can actually mark the machine itself. And what we did before, okay. Now we just have to make the machine a bit wider so that we can't see these cylinders. So we're gonna do it like this. Um, and these parts here too. So now we just have to get the lower edges. And here, so that it looks a bit more, you know, in the right shape. Okay. Let's add in another primitive shape. In this case, we're going to add in this one here, okay? Which is like an oil tank, okay? This is going to be the base of the lever, okay? So we're going to rotate it. We're going to move it to around here. We're going to make it editable. We're going to scale it. And we're going to turn it around here, this bit. It has to be a bit, it has to be like a bit moved, really, because of the actual machine, you know? All right, because the machine doesn't have like a square shape. Okay, so this part here, we've done this so it has a little bit more detail. We've selected it with the loop selection and we've extruded it. Now the whole part, okay, we're going to be able to make another loop selection here. Wait, 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 let's get rid of this part. So with this loop selection, we're going to uh, extrude like with the top here. And we're going to do that to the inside. Okay, for example, like this. We're going to make the piece a little bit smaller so that it isn't too big. And now we're going to be making that lever. Okay. How do you guys say it? Do you say lever or lever? I want to know. Comment. Maybe we should lower the number of segments um, because it has a bit too many. Let's leave it at like 27, 26 even. Let's move this a bit here. Let's turn it. And we're gonna place it where we want it to go, really. Where it looks more like more centered. So I'll move it to this area. Okay, it's a bit too close to the machine's wall, so we're going to make it smaller. More or less like this. It might be a bit too long. Let's make the ball with a sphere. Increase the number of segments. And we have to make sure that the ball looks good so that we can't see the other segments, okay? So we've increased them a lot. We have to lower this, okay? We can use the other views to, to check it properly. We have those other views for this reason, okay? Coolio, cool beans. Uh, this other view here, we're going to go to the frontal view to see how it looks a little bit better. 
So like this. Okay, let's see. Around here. It's looking good around here, brah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that this lever is just maybe a bit too long. So we're going to make it maybe a little smaller, a little shorter. Let's see. Pull this out a bit. It's either too short or too thin. Am I right, ladies? I'm sorry. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay. This here, we can make this a bit bigger. All right, all right, all right, okay. A little bit wider like this. Okay. We're gonna make another cylinder. And these are gonna be like the coins, okay? This is gonna be really easy to do. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make it editable. Select the polygons on both sides. We're going to make an internal selection, okay? And normal extrusion. Around here, okay? And now we're gonna scale it, the whole coin. And we're gonna place it, well, just to see how it looks or how it would look, we're gonna place it next to the machine just to see the size we want it to have, more or less. We're gonna leave it here for now. All right, so we got this all pretty much ready, this part here. We can still see the cylinders a bit. Hmm. So let's maybe finish fixing that. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, so this part here, it looks a little bit too wide. So we're gonna fix all these, these parts, these scales that you can see here. Just so that we're not like making this a bit too wide, you know? All right, this can go. We don't want it. And now here, okay. All right, this, this too, gone, gone. And now here, and there we go, out. There we go, this shape looks better now. There we go. Like that. And now this part here and this part here, here. We're going to take it a little bit further back. All right. So there's buttons, the sign, the lever, the lever. There's the sign. Looks good. Looks cute. We're going to take it a bit further back, though, to stick it to the machine. You don't want your sign falling off, right? <laughs> sign fell. Anyway, we're going to go to spline. And we're going to select star. All right, so we've made the stars. Uh, we're going to give it five points like this. That's that's better. It's weird to see them with four. Now let's go to this button here. And we're going to hit extrude. And we're going to put the star inside. The whole spline is going to go inside. And as you can see, we've got the volume. And now we can scale it. As we're seeing here, we just have to make a spline, a star spline, and then in properties, we can extrude it. And there we go. That's our shape. We, we did it. We made it. 
we'd have our ship. Now we're just duplicating this so we could have a few more. It's like your mom making cookies, man. She just duplicates them. She did it all in Cinema 4D, I swear. All right, we're going to take this one to the right around here, more or less. Okay. Uh, um, this is kind of decoration, of course, and everybody can do how they want to do it, right? You guys can go to Ikea, decorate your house with it. Okay, so now we just need to put in the words. We're going to write L-U-K-Y. He spelled that wrong, not me. Or I'm just here to translate. We're going to put that here, okay? I'm going to go to text. Let's open this up. And here we put in the word. In this case, we're going to be spelling lucky wrong. Yeah, very wrong. And here we're going to choose the font that we have installed on our computer. I'm going to use a font that's maybe a little more, a little better. Like this one, for example. Now we're, we're going to do what we did with the star before. It's this button here and extrude. We can place our text inside. And we're going to get that extrusion on the font. Look how beautiful that looks, man. Lukey. Lukey Luke. We're going to scale this and we're going to place it on the text on the part that we want to put it on. The width is here. We're going to put it down to five so that it's not too wide. Okay, so the axis here, as you can see, we have it marked so that I have easier access to it. Just remember to unmark it here, okay? And then we can move the text however we want, okay? So this is basically just a question of making this font as it's like this. I don't know if it's the best one, but well, we just have to put the text in the right place. And then later, maybe we can change the font, the type. But, you know, oh well, with this, we're practically done. We're going to put in another word now that we're going to spell right. We're going to spell, um, we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to put in, for example, gold. Uh, we're going to change the font. We're going to be using this one, Venus Rising, because it sounds rad. Okay? And there we go. We're going to scale this like this. And maybe we can see that we have to adapt some things. Okay, let's mark this square. Let's put in the points. And we're going to place the points. Remember to keep this box here unmarked to get the points we can't see. And let's put in the points to better adapt the square, okay? So this frame here to the letters. And with this, we'd have the first part of the model done. Okay, see you guys in the next lesson. Goodbye.